Hello and welcome to today's episode of 3D Drawing for Model Railway. In today's episode we're going to draw this IBC tank. Um, we're going to be using a couple of new skill, skills today. First is we're going to use a fillet in the sketch. And the second is we're going to be looking at how to go back and edit your history, adding things in, changing things as we go along. Okay, so let's get started and draw in this. So we're going to start a sketch on the base. And I'm going to draw a two point rectangle. And I'm going to have that as 3.5 millimetres by 4 millimetres. I'm going to extrude that to give it a thickness of 0.5 millimetres. We can rotate see which one. Next one I'm going to draw is the little foot for it. So I'm going to draw on the base again, going for that two point rectangle, and I'm just going to go one millimetre by one millimetre. I'm going to extrude that up also by one millimetre. Okay, so the next thing I want to draw, again going back to the, the face of the foot, is another two point rectangle and I'm going to have it the same size as the first one, so 3.5 by 4 millimetre and then selecting both parts I'm going to extrude that by 0.5 millimetres. Okay, so that's the base of the palette drawn. Uh, next we're going to draw on top the the tank. So I'm going to create a sketch onto the top face. And you have a rectangle, two point rectangle. We're going to start in this corner now, drag it outwards. Don't want it to be the same size. Um, I'm going to go um, three millimeters by 3.5 millimeters. I want it slightly smaller. Okay, so I'm going to extrude this to a height of six millimeters. So about three foot tall to move for six millimeters. Instead of joining, I want to create a new body. Click on that, okay. And the reason I want a new body is I want to curve all these edges. Now, if I was to join them, I wouldn't be able to curve this one underneath. It would try and curve outwards. So if I turn the palette body off, I can then do my fillet. Make sure the tangent chain isn't highlighted or isn't tipped, sorry. And I can select the edges that I want to curve, which will be those five. I'm gonna curve those in by 0.5 millimeters. That gives me that nice curved look that I'm trying to achieve. And then the palette underneath. That's what we're after there. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is draw the pipes that go around the cage, around the tank to form the cage. So I'm going to create, construct an offset plane from the base of the pallet. I'm just going to raise it up ever so slightly. That's 0.5 is probably too much. I'm going to come and say 0. I'm actually going to go with 0.1. That'll be fine there. Okay, I'm going to rotate to the top view and I'm going to draw on that plane. What the reason what I'm going to try and do now is just draw a line that comes around here, curves around the cage, and then comes to this edge here, so that we can then use that pipe command that we were losing on a previous lesson to then create like, like the cage feel. So I'm going to create line. I'm going to start over here, down there, to there. I'm going to use that coincidence constraint to snap the end of the line to the edge of the pallet and the same on that side. In fact, before that happens there, I'm going to undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to define the distance from the edge of the line that we've just drawn to the edge of the tank. I'm going to go for 0.2 millimetres. The reason I have to find that is so I undo it. As soon as I coincidence that to that is snap this across so it's pretty much in line so it'd be difficult to then get that distance in there so I'll define that distance the same so it's going to be 0.2 millimeters and then we'll use that coincidence to bring that edge in like we said okay so with the cage it actually curves round the same as it does on the tank here so what I want to have is a curved line here 
So previously we were using fillet to roll the edge of the extrusion. There's also a fillet tool within the sketching, which does a similar thing. I can then hover over the corner and draw the curve round like that. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to just drag that out slightly because I want it just a little bit further out. That's it, 0.7 millimeters looks good to me. Because you've got 0.5 curve here plus the 0.2 gap, so 0.7 would match it pretty much spot on. That's automatically defined. So we've now got the line that we can use to create the, um, the pipe. Okay, so we'll finish that sketch. We'll come down to create and select pipe. We're going to pipe on the path we've just drawn. Um, it's currently drawn at 0.2 diameter. I'm going to actually go for about 0.4. I tell it to join. Just going to run a bit thicker, a bit more meat to to the cage. Okay. Now I'm going to join that, and we're going to see what happens when I try to pattern it. Okay. So I'm going to pattern upwards. Okay. So we're going to come to create rectangular pattern we're going to create on a feature and we're going to select the pipe and then we're going to select the directions upwards okay now as i come up you'll see that it's dragging the end up as well which obviously isn't what we're after so we're going to go back a step we're going to edit the feature of the pipe instead of join we're going to tell it new body click on okay then we'll come back to pattern, rectangular pattern, features, select the pipe again and the direction. And now you'll see that it'll allow me to drag it all the way up. Okay. And it's not dragging the end face up as well, which is what we're after. I'm going to put five of these going around. I think that looks okay. Okay. I'm just going to check that these are actually touching because when we go to print, we're going to want these to be intersect slightly. And so you can see they're a little bit a bit too far out. Okay, so again, I'm going to edit the sketch because I don't think they would print particularly well. So I'm going to come back into uh, the sketch of the pipes, edit that, and I'm going to change the dimensions here. I'm going to go 0.1 here and the same over here, 0.1. I'm going to change the radius to 0.6 to match the 5 plus an 0.1 gap. Finish the sketch. Now if we have a look on this face now, you can see how they're completely intersect now. So I'm, I'm much more comfortable that they would print now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is they've got uprights. So we're going to draw the uprights coming along. Okay, so we'll go to off, create offset plane from that face and we're going to come out by 0.1 because we know that's going to be the center line of where that pipe is and then we're going to create a sketch on that offset plane you can see how my bodies is going up we're going to sort that out in a bit okay and we're going to create a line that's going to come from there to the top here okay um, doesn't matter the exact position as long as they're going inside these pipes here. I'm going to go 0.1 there and I'm going to define the length. I'm happy with where it is. I'm just going to define it as 5.46 just so that it stays inside that top one. Okay, so same thing as before. Finish that sketch, create a new pipe. 0.4 we're happy with. We're not going to join again because we knew from the last time how that affected us. We're going to create a new body. Click on OK. So we've now got the pipe going upwards. And we're going to now create a pattern on path. We're going to find the sketch, this one here, which is the initial pipe that we drew, which is sketch six. Okay. So select, and I see how I've unhidden the pipe here and select features so i'm going to select this pipe that we've just done and the path that we want is going to be that sketch that we've just selected and then we're going to drag that around 
to this side. Okay, I'm going to go for six millimeters thick. That looks okay. And then we're going to increase the number of patterns. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to show you how to do something that also quite interesting, which is we're going to look to remove this pattern here. So we're going to select a little tick there. You see how it's now taking that out. Okay, click on OK. So we've now got three on each side. Okay. The issue we've got, same as before, how it hasn't followed the path properly on like we had with the arch window. So we're going to go back to edit feature. We're going to change that identical to path direction and you can see how that's sitting much better it's all in line now okay much much happier with that what i am seeing at the top here is we haven't got the line going quite firm enough in so there's a little bit of the pipe sticking out here so we're going to come back to the sketch edit the sketch i'm going to make this a little bit taller so i'm going to go for 5.5 click on ok Still a little bit there, so again we'll come back to edit sketch and we'll change that to 5.6 because that should definitely get rid of it that time. And it's too far now, so we've got to find that happy medium. So let's go 5.55. Click on OK. That's really, really going to be a pain to edit that. 5.55. Okay, I don't think we're going to get much neater, so we're just going to go with that. It's, it's only a tiny little bit that's sticking out. Yeah, we'll get away with that, I think. Okay, so now we've got the cages all the way around. What we're going to do is turn off that sketch because it's still visible. Just turn it off with a little eye there. And now we have to join these all into one component. Okay, so we use that combined tool that we were using previously. Target body is going to be body number one and then we're going to select all the rest of the bodies by just holding shift down as we select them all click on ok they're now all one piece okay. you see it's now, now become one body um, what we're going to do now is we're going to use that mirror tool that we used on the last lesson to turn it from a quarter of the body into the whole body so select the object is the quarter mirror plane is the face it doesn't matter which of the two to start with because you're only going to turn a quarter into a half and then we're going to do the same and we're going to do the mirror select the body the mirror plane being the back wall click on okay, okay. so there's our palette okay. now obviously you can go and you can change this if you wanted um, what I'm looking at here is I'm probably thinking these corner posts are a little bit too big. So I can go back into that sketch there, edit the sketch, and then change that down to 0.6 by 0.6. Okay, so they look better. I'm not happy with how these posts are all sit in here though. So we can go and change those. So again, we'll come down to the drawing we've got here. Okay, I'm going to edit the sketch. I'm going to move it. I'm going to change the position. Some distance from there to there. That direction. I'm going to change that to one millimeter. Actually, no. I'm going to go 0.5 millimeters. That looks better. It looks much more square coming around there now. So now we're going to have the same issue here. We're going to try and change this a little bit. Okay, so we're going to pattern on path, edit feature. I have to turn it around so we can see what's going on here. Okay, so we want to turn that one off there. Just drag that out a little bit more. Yeah, okay, how's that look? Okay, so that's looking okay there now. Okay, so the combines failed there. So what we'll do is have a look. So it's come up with a warning. So we can go edit feature, 
close all the combines off, select target body is the top one, and then tool bodies as all the rest that are left. Click on OK. And there you go, it's combined again. So the reason it threw up the error with the combine is because we removed some of the bodies. So you just got to go back and change those. And it's always good practice whenever you get a yellow or a red warning at these bottom to go back and change those till you're happy with them and they're all complete. Okay, so the next thing I'm looking at is I think pallets have would probably have a centre support in here. So we're going to come back on our sketches. I'm just going to drag it back to there. Okay, and I'm going to add in some blocks in these corners. I'm going to go back onto my sketch and I'm going to do uh, 0.3 by 0.6 six there and the same here so we're going to do 0 0.6 and 0 0.3 and then we can select so I've only done these half the size of this one because when we mirror they'll copy over as well so you'll have the other half next to it the distance we're going to extrude to is the same height as that one click on OK and then if we go to skip to the end at the bottom here and back down have a look you see how we've now got what looks more like a palette you can again you can go change your things you can change the thickness of these to be a little bit thinner if you wanted you can change the height of any of the pipes where they start um, one thing that i will put on here is we're going to put on the top we're going to draw in the middle a filling cap and we're going to go 0.8 in diameter and then extrude that up by 0.6 millimeters okay how's that look i'm thinking that looks quite good i hope you've enjoyed watching today's video if you have please press the like button if you've got any comments questions or suggestions you'd like to see me draw please leave them down below in the comment section thanks for watching